Today, Community Build Ventures hosted As Atlanta Grows, the Forum. We convened um, leaders from foundations, government agencies, and nonprofits to have a conversation on how do we create prosperous pathways for Atlantis facing injustice. This work is important. Atlanta, we need to come together and figure out how do we collectively build an agenda that's going to work for every area in this community. We have to be able to talk to each other, dialogue, have these opportunities to work with each other. And oftentimes we don't get the opportunity to have philanthropy and community organizers and leaders having one conversation about how you move this work forward. And this work is meant to be collaborative. We are in a critical time in our region, in our nation, and philanthropy has to put itself in a position to act boldly and courageously to begin to push back against the many challenges that our most vulnerable communities are facing. Having the panel that we do that represents black voices, represents Latinx voices, immigrant voices, folks doing organizing, folks in philanthropy, um, all being able to share those experiences together gives uh, the conversation so much more credibility. Well, there are many themes that came up today that I thought was really compelling. One is around this notion of risk. Risk is an invented construct. I also think this concept of intersectionality was a, it's an ongoing theme, but how we understand that people and community, we all experience issues in multiple ways. I also think this concept of organizing and the role of organizing um, lies not only in grassroots organization, but in philanthropy, in the public sector. There is a lot of work to be done to ask ourselves really hard and important questions that can't wait about how are we using our power to maintain the status quo was a question that one of the panelists asked. And I think every leader of every foundation and um, every white person in the room should be asking that question of ourselves and also of the people that we're collaborating and working with. One of the main calls to action for me is to continue to learn in a deliberate way and figure out where the partnerships and the collaborations lie and that those collaborations uh, can lead to action that actually has an impact. We hope that um, as a next step for the participants that um, gave all of their um, time and attention that they would create a call to action on how to move past the barriers that's preventing them from investing in Atlantans facing injustice. Um, we also hope that they begin to collaborate and continue the conversation that they've started today.